Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so happy to have you here with me. Today I'm gonna paint a cute little Eastern bluebird. The reference photo is on Unsplash. I'll link it in this video's description. Isn't that fun? Let's just jump right in. Let's set the table. I've got a six inch by six inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. It's an inch and a half thick. I really like these. Um, I have a link in this video's description just in case you're interested in them. I, yesterday I gessoed three different sizes, sizes of these wood panels with two coats of clear gesso. Um, the instructions say, you know, leave more time than I did in between coats and drying. This did dry overnight. I haven't had a problem yet. You guys can let me know in the comments if you have and how it works for you. Um, I didn't sand it. It just has two coats of clear gesso. It helps because the wood is really absorbent. And so it helps when you um, paint it. It's not quite so absorbent. I'm, I'm hesitating because it's still going to suck up some paint. It's still going to be a little bit more absorbent until you get a layer of paint on it. Um, just pretty much like a canvas, I think. You guys, I love, I love hearing your experiences in the comments. Um, this is a three-quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. And I think what I'm going to do this time, well, I've got the word love on there. I start all my paintings. I don't show it in every video, but I start it by writing in chalk pastel the word love on there. I'm going to use titanium white. These are all Liquitex. I haven't used neutral gray five in quite a while and it's a fun convenience color. You could also mix a gray with your black and your white that you have in your studio. And then I decided on phthalo blue. And I'm going to mix, I think a mostly gray background. We want it darker, like the bottom half darker because we've got a white belly that we want to stand out. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably be swirly. One of my typical swirly, um, let's, well, this isn't very swirly. I was going to show you this one. We just painted this live, which is kind of one of my basic simple backgrounds with color. We'll see how it looks when we're done. But I think I want to lean, I think I'm going to take cues from this and keep it more gray. I was also leaning towards like a yellow green. That could be fun. We've already got complementary colors because the bird is pretty much orange and blue. Although that's more of a, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use raw sienna. But I'll let you know the colors. I'll put that in the description. So let's just get going here. So I, I just put paint on. You've seen me do this a few times. Oh, maybe I'm going to like the gray. That's pretty. I don't know if I'm going to want some of the blue. Well, shoot. <laughs> this is part of the fun of painting. So some people get a little, oh, that's pretty too, get a little upset with me because I don't know where I'm going, but that's part of the fun of painting and playing with color. Now that's way more blue than I think I want because that phthalo blue is really strong. I really like that gray. And now I've got a ton of blue. But I also wanted to see, I'm painting the sides, so when I do paint the sides off camera, I kind of know what color's coming around the edge. Um, I did want to see what it's going to look like. Let's grab a little bit of water. So I'm going to grab some gray. I think. Okay, so our bird's going to come, so the belly's going to be kind of right here. So let's put some gray there. If you want bigger strokes or to go faster, use a bigger brush. If you want sort of tighter, more swirls and detail, use a smaller brush. I'm just going to kind of scribble, swirl. This is already drying. 
don't know if you can hear it. Probably can't hear it. Um, my microphone does a good job of knocking out some of the background noise. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. Well, I, I kind of want to pick it up, but I don't know if that'll be harder for you to see. Now I might paint out too much of the blue and come back with another layer and put it back in kind of a situation. But layers help. But I think I like the direction this is going in. It'd be fun if you guys were here. That's one thing about the live stream um, that I do every Wednesdays at 6 p.m. is you guys can give me feedback. That's fun. Maybe I should mix a little. Oops, I don't have any paper towels out. I've got some off to my left here. Maybe I should mix just a hint. That blue is strong. <laughs> and then let's grab quite a bit of gray. Oh, no, that's squeaking, but that's probably also much louder for me and squeakier. Because I had two paper or styrofoam plates there. I do like the styrofoam pl plates. It's a lot like a disposable pad, palette pad. Um, it soaks in a little, but like if you, if you mix on hard plastic or glass, which a lot of artists do and a lot of artists like it, um, well, that's almost going a little green when I mix it. I don't know if that was a good idea. Um, sometimes it'll dry and you get little dried pieces of paint that come back up. I've looked a couple of times for a Stay Wet palette. Um, I think I want a 12 by 12 one. I need to decide. But this is, gosh, I don't know how big this is. Like a, I don't have a ruler handy. Like an 8 inch plate maybe which I can get closer with my phone when I'm videoing. Yeah, it's pretty much an eight inch plate. Maybe a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, that's a little, which makes sense. That looks a little greener to me. Sometimes you have to mix it and play with it and see what you think. I don't mind if it's a little greener too. If it starts to get sticky and lift up, one thing nice about the um, clear gesso, you can mix white paint in it or any color paint in it if you wanted. And um, the other nice thing is, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. You guys, I forgot. Oh, um, it dries pretty quick, which I like. Or you could just get out the hair dryer and it doesn't seem to lift up as much. But I'm not totally sure that that's accurate that's just been my experience so far but I don't I've just started using these wood panels more and I don't know if I like what's happening completely here I lost my gray or darker area See now I'm, now I'm going more blue and I don't know if I really want to do that I'm just wiping off my brush and my paper towel let's go some straight up gray Kind of swirl it in. Normally, I would probably do um, a bluer or greener, I don't know, sky background kind of situation, and then come down and it'd get lighter and grayer, like it's the sky and it's atmospheric perspective. But I, I definitely want that belly of that of the bluebird to stand out. And I don't normally do a gray background, so I think I kind of want to lean towards that, too. Okay, guys, that is the basic idea. I'm going to work on it um, off camera, and uh, the sides off camera, and then I'll work on the, probably the top when it dries in the time lapse, and then I'll be back.
Hey, just a quick comment. So this looks more like a round metal bar, a round, you know, a cylinder, bent cylinder. This is flat. And there's like a little hint of an underside there and a little bit, you can see some blue, a little bit of, you know, an edge there. I just made it round, it was easier. And then the other thing that's really fun is you just put a little paint. I had more paint and I, I started using less on, well, that's not very much at all. On the tip of your palette knife, oh, here, I'll just grab some white, you can see that better. Oh no, you can't really. <laughs> on the tip of your palette knife and just kind of scrape it and if it's kind of if it's too um, too much I scrape it down so I start getting what's underneath showing and it really makes it look kind of like um, I don't know rough metal type I don't know what to call that but yeah, I think you guys know what I'm trying to get it it makes it look like rough metal I think that's all I need to say I'm gonna paint the feet black because I left this a dark gray and see what I wanna do as far as the values. And I painted this first first because the feet are on top of it, but really I didn't have to because sometimes I'll paint this first because there's bird feathers that come over it, but in this situation there isn't. So I, I think it's it still works. Still still a good plan to do, do that and then do the feet. And then the feet go up into the feathers, so that's that makes sense to do that next and then the bird after that. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so our blue eastern bluebird could be done. I've got one layer of paint down. I've got my lights coming from over here. Here, I could probably scoot. There, you can see Mr. Sun a little bit better. A <laughs> um, little bit of light catching some uh, little teeny feathers hanging down. I need a highlight in the eye. I'm going to put another layer on and play with this a little bit more. But now that I've got the, the shapes in, the values in that are pretty good, uh, we're in good shape. And, uh, and as I think I just said you could call it done. Let's take a little tour. Oh, here, should I put the highlight in the eye? That might finish it. Sometimes I'm not happy with the eye and all it needs is a highlight. Let's see if I can do this around my phone. Um, that's a three over zero little liner brush from Princeton. I've been using 
that one a little bit, mostly using the number one round from Princeton. Just another little liner brush. And then a quarter inch flat brush. It's a craft brush from Craftsmart. I got it at Michael's. It says number 10 on it. Okay. Then we'll do a little tour. Oop, focus. Bring it over towards my camera. <laughs> So it's pretty loose, pretty simple. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want some darker blues over here. And the other thing I'm kind of toying with is um, like glazing some orange or some yellow or both. And then I painted the, oh, got a little, little piece I need to fix there. Okay. So I think I've mentioned my colors, raw sienna, thalo blue, uh, neutral gray five, you could, mix a gra uh, you could mix a gray, titanium white, and Mars black. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop for tonight and I'll be back tomorrow. I'm popping in because I thought I was videoing and it wasn't. <laughs> it's like, no. So what I did is I added cad yellow medium hue uh, to my palette. And then I took this quarter inch flat brush and it's a semi-transparent color. So just dip my brush, I'm gonna actually kind of demo it. I dipped my quarter inch flat brush in just a little bit of water, a little bit of yellow. And you're not gonna be able to see it as well, but I, it glazes over what's already there. I'm leaving a little bit of, of the white. I, if I paint it out, you can come back and put some in. I think I want that white there. And then I came with um, a little raw sienna and some yellow and glazed. Because it's glazing because the background color shows through. And I know you can't really see it. But that's what I was doing. And then I played with this area a little bit with some raw sienna, straight up raw sienna. I might, I don't know, kind of lighten it. So the brush stroke direction is more important. Well, not more important, it helps you get the feathers. You don't have to paint every feather. Now see, that might be too light. I don't know, I'll have to play with it some. And then I'm gonna work on the, I'm gonna add some whites. I might as well do it as long as we're here. So I'll clean out my brush. So I dip it in my water and then I wipe it on paper towels. And then sometimes I just flip the paper towels, you know, kind of have a couple going here. Sometimes I get wet and I just start a new sort of pile of paper towels. It's not that deep, but. All right, let's start with white. Get the water off my brush. So in my reference photo, it's light over here, but I don't know how light I want it. That's kind of a lot of paint. I'm gonna wipe some of it off. And if it gets to be too light, and I'm not liking this. Um, still might have too much paint. It's gonna dry darker. And now the paint's starting to run out of my brush, so we might be okay. I can come back in with darker color again. So I started where I wanted it. I thought I wanted the lightest. And then just kind of let it run out. So that end up, even though I didn't video, I think that might end up to be a good um, little demo. I'm gonna bring some of my feathers this way maybe and then kind of triangle shapes sometimes. Maybe bring one out. And then this has got more light on it. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. I wiped my brush off on my paper towel, grabbed a little water. So this is pretty thin. That dried pretty fast on me. Sometimes you can wake it back up even though it seems dry when I swipe it with my finger.
Okay, let's see how that dries. I'm not, well, so I'm wanting some different feather direction, but there really isn't much to see in the reference photo. That was interesting how the it shifted, it color corrected or whatever my phone did there. <laughs> oh, another thing we could do here. Yeah, I think I want to play with a little bit more value change. Well, here, let's grab some raw sienna, just a pinch of water, and we can kind of rust up. Let's see if we like this. Oh, that might be too thin. No, oh, maybe not. Kind of. You don't have to do this. It's you don't see it in the reference photo. I might have it a little too thin. But it does make it easier to just smear with my finger. Just kind of rust. Oh, I think I like that. Add a little rust to the metal piece that the Eastern Blue Jay is sitting on. Grab a, I don't think I want that one. We'll grab a number four, I think it is, or number one round from Princeton. Let's just grab a little white. It's not quite as white as I'm gonna make it in the reference photo, but I think I want. And then really, Kind of lost. Oops, well, it's too dark. So I just offloaded my brush on my paper towel. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this color, kind of the beige. Just kind of dab at it. So now all I'm doing is just ad adjusting some of the detail, adding detail. Oh, I kind of like that. Leave that alone. Gosh, this could be done. And maybe this is okay. See, it's drying a little darker down here. So I'm going to grab a little more out of the tube white. I'm just lightly, lightly scraping. This would be called more of a dry brushing. You can do it with a glazing too and just kind of trying to add a little. I think that looks nice. I'm looking at my reference photo for the inspiration to do this. I think that suggests little little feathers pretty well. And then just kind of whitening up my lighter side here. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but what if we take this really little 3 over 0 brush? Um, we'll grab some of this color. It's transparent. Oh no. Oh, I've got my computer glasses on. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's see if this is any better. Oh yeah, I can see better. So I'm just gonna roll. Hopefully, ooh, let's get that in frame. I'm gonna roll my paint, or roll my brush in my paint. Because it makes it'll make a little bit of a point. Let's see if we can bring that up just a little bit more. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Okay, 
Yeah, that's not even showing right there. I don't know if that made any difference. Let's um, get a little, let's take some of our straight up phthalo blue. Let's get a little detail over here. Or just some value changes maybe. Oh, and we need to bring the, um, that's what we need to do. We need to bring some of this, some of the wing, some of the feathers over the blue wing. And kind of dab and squiggle. Maybe we'll take a little. Of course, if it's everywhere, it's nowhere. So I'm gonna. I really should maybe stop here. And I don't. I, how many times have I done that? For those of you who've been following me a while, <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of dab like it's little feathers. I've kind of made a dent down in his head. I might need to bring that up a little bit. Darker and cooler recedes, warmer and lighter. While this isn't warmer, it's lighter, and I'll bring it a little bit more forward. What do we need? That's not really doing anything. Grab a little lighter. Just trying to add a little, whoops, detail. Oh, there, I like that. Without adding a ton of detail. Some value changes. Just looking for a little bit lighter blue. I'm hoping that's gonna dry darker because I'm not crazy about it. And then smearing it and thinning it out will also help it be a little darker. I wonder if like a little this was already straight up phthalo blue. Well, that's darker. It's more than I wanted. This is why my, my little brushes wear out fast. Well, they're, they don't have very many bristles. But between the washing and the scrubbing on the canvas and then the wiping on the paper towels, it's just hard on them. Oop, but I just dropped some water in there. Oh, actually, I think I might like that. I think that just adds, I'm just looking for a little bit of change. I need this a little darker. That's oh, really dark. kind of swiping and sometimes I don't get anything off of it. Sometimes I do. I like this. I'm going to reinforce this a little bit. Actually, maybe... This is lighter in the photo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Unless I make this, I don't know if I can make this much lighter. Gosh, I think we're done. Oh, I was gonna. The feathers. Hold on. I took a white and raw Santa because it'll cover better. 
And I'm going to come back. Is there any here? There is kind of some here. Actually, I kind of like that. We could darken it, but I kind of like it lighter. I'm going to, since I'm sitting here looking at it and not talking, I'm going to turn off the video and see if there's anything that needs adjusting. And I think we're done. I'll be right back. Hey friends, I'm done. I ended up lightening this up a little bit more and all I'm, I blew paint on my hand, all I'm thinking is kind of getting a rounder shape, more dramatic lighting. I did bring this or smooth it up a little bit, but I also think I brought it up a little lighter. Just so it doesn't have heat, yeah, it'd be heat. It doesn't have too much of a dent right here. I put just a little bit of yellow, just I don't know that it needed any of that, but just to add a little color and then a little change of color. So it wasn't all the raw sienna. What else? I think that's about it. Add, oh, I added some dark brown. So then while I made this lighter, I made this a little darker or had some darker areas. I need to, what I need to do is look at it tomorrow. I mean, and I look at the reference photo, I'm like, oh, we could make this more like the reference photo. You know, have a lighter spot over here, that kind of stuff. But really, I don't know that we need to. It, it, it's pretty. I really like it. It's fun. It's looser, which I'm aiming for. All right. We'll get a screenshot here. Oop, sorry, I'm trying to get it square. Maybe over here. Get it square. And we'll take one last little tour. Come on, focus. Oh, there it goes. I just have to be patient. And then it focuses. I like that I pulled out a little feather here. Oh, you know what I could do is put some toenails on. Well, this toenail's probably dug right in there. You can keep going and keep going. Let's see, a little white, maybe a little gray. I got the really skinny three over zero. I don't know if that's even gonna show. Oh, there we go. That kind of shows. Leave that one alone. Okay, guys, we're done. We're done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know if you give this one a try. It's a very pretty reference photo. It's linked in this video's description. Um, let me know. I've never seen an eastern bluebird in person because I don't think they live in my area. I'm in the middle of the United States. Let me know if you have them in your area. Thank you so much for your support. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.